सो हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज ओम राजपूत बैक अगेन विद न्यू वीडियो ऑन वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ सीएस एंड जय फर्स्ट साइंसेस सो फाइनली आई एम बैक विद द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो दैट इज ऑन ब्लंडर मिस्टेक्स बाय सीएसआईआर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर ओनली वन क्वेश्चन ओके आई विल मेक सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस लाइक दिस ओके फॉर ईच क्वेश्चन आई विल मेक अ सेपरेट वीडियो सो इफ यू हैव एनी doubt in any question if you feel that that question should be challenged and that question is wrong then let me know in my in the comment section okay and hit a like button right now yaar ab bhi hum shoot kar rahe hain right at this time right now 1238 is going on okay i have to make 10 10 videos at least so yeah for that dedication at least ek like to karo banta hai so let's start the very first question Where would you expect the highest calcium carbonate production within the ocean basin? Now, according to this question, the right answer is Pelagic Ocean. It's the official answer. Okay, but some of the students thinks that the continental shelf is the correct answer. Let me tell you very correctly. They are talking about calcium carbonate production. not deposition when we talk about deposition it's a continental shelf but when we talking about calcium carbonate production it is always the pelagic ocean okay so how we know how we know ki calcium carbonate forms in the pelagic ocean only see this photo these these this is the reason called pelagic zone okay it can be epipelagic mesopelagic bathypelagic abyssal pelagic so these all are pelagic zones so it is from the continental shelf to the open oceans and let me tell you clearly ki calcium carbonate how it forms in the first place there are organisms free floating organisms okay there there are some organisms which attached to the hard substrate substratums like corals those are also made up of calcium carbonate those are aeronate they are in the continental shelf zone but how much corals are there in the world they are very less when we talk about calcium carbonate uh, organisms which are in abundance those are for many fera those are coccolithophores and they are in the pelagic region no pelagic means what they are they are freely floating right they are in the water they are not attached to the continental shelf they are not like stomatolites which is attached to the hard stress uh, substratum or stomatolites is not made up of calcium at the very first place corals corals nahi hai they are not corals which is made up of aragonite so my point is when we are talking pelagic zone it is from the continental shelf to the open oceans and you know ki these microorganisms whether it is from any fera whether it is coccolithophore they are in the upper region ep pelagic zones only they are belongs to the pelagic zone only so they produce calcium carbonate over there no how calcium carbonate forms calcium ion is there carbonate ion is there in the ocean now these organisms because they have soft body so to protect their soft body they forms hard shells or ye hard shells for that they require these ions and these ions are already there in the ocean so they took these two ions carbonate ion and calcium ion i am and made calcium carbonate as a outer shell and that protects from the like outer conditions so production is there no production if it is deposition it is always be continental shelf so if you see here there is a deposition then above a uh, mor on the top of the mor if that mor height is above ccd then you will get calcium carbonate in some condition you will see ki uh, calcium carbonate is there below ccd also but that is only possible if it has a shield of some other minerals which is protecting from dissolution so what if calcium carbonate is there on the floor but it is covered by say siliceous materials say clay materials then it can <laughs> withstand with that pressure and uh, it can't dissolve Because it is it is not direct contact with the ocean water, no. It is covered. So if you see over here, the most of the calcium carbonate is depositing on the continental shelf. So when it's deposition, I will go with the continental shelf. But when it is production, 
where it forms so it always forms in the waters in the pelagic waters right and here you can see the global calcium carbonate weight percentage distribution you can literally see uh, let me let me move to the right left and here you can see the values these red values you can see 180 like this it is in the pelagic water right so pelagic water is this one so i hope you understand this question so the correct answer will be pelagic ocean only there is no need to challenge the question and this time only there is 200 rupees required for this thing to challenge the question like last time it is thousand it was thousand but this time it is 200 only okay so i hope you will 